Good morning everyone, this is Ranger Rob and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. It's another sparkling day in Central Oregon, but slightly cooler. So uh, one of my main things I gotta get done today is I gotta get a tank filled here before it goes off. And uh, I've been procrastinating. So uh, yeah, but it is actually very pretty out here, uh, but definitely cooler than usual. I'm, I'm fighting it by not having to put a jacket on, but that could change. So, uh, yeah. So I gotta grab some chemicals or nutrients and get a tank filled up. I might have to get a jacket. Well, I got the uh, tank filled up in the towers for the strawberries. And uh, I think I actually have to pick some more strawberries. But my little puppies here, I got them treats. Come here. You guys want a treat? One for you, one for you. They like their green beans. So today, uh, actually yesterday, we started the process of uh, uh, cooking down um, tom uh, tomatoes. And so uh, we're gonna go visit Sherry and look at some of the things that she's working on. Get you guys out of the sun there. And uh, uh, we just gotta check a few more tanks here. Gotta make sure these two are going good here. And also, yesterday, we went to another town and stopped by uh, Country Vines, which is a very large um, uh, commercial tomato greenhouse that uses the Dutch buckets. And the owner, that uh, Richard, was there, and we were looking in the windows. He's like, can I help you? And, I, and I've talked to him before. He's like, oh, so... Anyway, uh, they're actually adding a th fourth greenhouse to their uh, um, set up there, which was amazing. And uh, he says, oh, you know, because I wanted to get a tour. And he says, I've been meaning to call you. Anyway, so in about a month, when, once they get the fourth commercial greenhouse uh, you know, a little farther along, we're going to go over with a film crew and literally do a whole documentation of what he does over there. And uh, I have to be really careful because we're gonna learn something. And uh, just visiting with him, I learned a few things. So, uh, and in a way, I'm gonna call him my sensei. <laughs> Cause uh, uh, he definitely has it down. So I'm looking forward to doing that interview and I can't wait to film it and share it with you guys. All right guys, we're in Sherry's domain right now. She was using our new roaster, and this thing was awesome. Uh, it, uh, we uh, used it all day long yesterday just to cook down the tomatoes, which allowed us to make about, well, she was doing about 22 pounds of tomatoes, and uh, she's transferred it into a bigger pot because we need to get it up to boiling, and uh, she's getting ready to uh, can this. We we're able to make a much thicker sauce this time because we had a better cooker. So that roaster was so worth it. And uh, so you're doing your jars and Jarlized your lids are, are being sanitized. And what else are you working on today? What else to make? Um, I got a bunch of banana peppers I got to process. Yeah. And <laughs> a banana pepper. And we've got so many banana peppers and uh peppers just regular peppers yeah and i thought i'd do a special treat and maybe do some cookies i like the cookie idea um i haven't told you yet but i think we got a lot of little corns <laughs> that might be pullable today so we're gonna pull some corn out of our, our corners so it didn't turn out too well but we got a lot of little ears and I opened them up a little bit and there's lots of, the kernels look great. So it's like, I think I'm just gonna pull a bunch of them. We'll open them up. If they look good enough to eat, we'll cook them up and have some for lunch or something. But uh, our corn, we got a, we got lessons learned, but we're starting to get some new corn seed in that I ordered for next year. And we're gonna do things a lot different, but it was fun trying. So. All right, well, I'll get out of her face and let her, let her uh, get this process going. Well, before I go outside, and yes, I put a jacket on, uh, I just thought I'd show you the propagator. Uh, got it 
thinned out quite a bit. Um, probably going to take one or two more plants out to the floating raft. Let these get kind of big and uh, we'll uh, harvest them right there. And then I actually got some uh, peat, peat started. And uh, once they get started, we'll get them on the propagator too and into the greenhouse as soon as possible. See if we can't get some last minute. Actually, those are sugar peas going for the winter. And uh, we're on our way out to the strawberry towers to go get some strawberries. All right, guys. Uh, I got a coat on. It's a little bit more tolerable out here. Uh, still beautiful, but definitely cooler than I'm used to. And uh, we're gonna get some strawberries. So uh, it's funny, every tower is a little different. This tower's got uh, a lot of uh, uh, strawberries on it. and But this one here has a lot of strawberries, but they're not ripe enough to pick yet. But farther down, those strawberries was like, take me, take me. So we're gonna get what we can. All right, guys, got that down. Looks like I got about two cups worth of uh, strawberries. Pretty happy with that. And uh, we'll trim them up and put them in the freezer along with the other strawberries. And uh, that'll be kind of cool. Yeah, uh, next thing I got to do is corn. All right, guys. So I grabbed one of these uh, grow bags. We'll throw some corn in it and see if we can uh, find something we can eat. All right, guys, so I went through this a little bit. Not a whole lot, a lot I could harvest, but we got a few here. We'll see, open them up in the house and find out if they're uh, salvageable. And uh, yeah, um, it's uh, sad with the corn, but uh, we kind of know why. So we'll not make that mistake again next year. Well, guys, definitely a busy day in the kitchen. And of course, uh, I was looking at my monitors because we have cameras in the chicken pen and it's like, oh, I forgot to get eggs yesterday. So uh, I'm heading on out to go pick up some eggs like we need more eggs. And uh, <laughs> it, it should be a lot of them. So uh, yeah, it looks like I got a few, got a few eggs here. So <laughs> let's load them up. So I got my eggs. Looks like uh, quite a few. And uh, we'll get those in the house washed up and refrigerated. And uh, I think we'll be processing eggs in the freeze dryer today too. So uh, yeah, it's a cooking day. And uh, I don't know, it's kind of chilly outside so it's probably a good day to do all this stuff. Well guys, I had a lot of things to do today. We still working away on it. Still kind of a gloomy, windy, cool day. Uh, let to get my fish fed today and uh, see if I can do this with the wind. <laughs> Don't know how well that came out, but it's on the water. So, and there's the fish. So they're happy campers. So guys, I'm gonna wrap this up today. Got lots of things to get done today, so uh, uh, I gotta, <laughs> gotta quit messing around. Anyway, please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We'd appreciate it. And uh, be safe, everybody. Until next time, bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.